Hello friends, this is Digger Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Point. In this video, we will talk about one of the most important interview program that is the string program. So that is a very simple program I found here. Sometimes interviewer will give you one string like that interview. So he will say to you, I want this string should be print like that. Okay, so this will be the output of this string. So actually I found this is the very simple program. So I am going to open my Visual Studio. I have added one class, okay, string pattern. So in this class, I am going to write my logic. So I need to create one variable like a string. So I am taking like str, okay, that is a string variable. Now I need to ask user to provide some input for this string variable. So console dot right line. I will say in. now I will assign user input into the str variable for that console dot read line. Okay, now I will use to for loop that is the very important loop get the output. So I will say first for is equal to I will start from zero here and row or I will say row less than str dot length okay and after that row plus plus so that is the first for loop i'm going to use okay so it will use for the row i will i can see here it these are the row okay so here one two three four five six seven eight and nine nine rows are there so we can see here the column value will be the same so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 9 is the column and 9 are row so both are same so for that i need one more for loop for the column purpose so for that i will use one call variable for the column so i will use call is equal to i2 uh, call less than equal to row here i am using this row okay and after that i will say call plus plus okay so that is the main thing we are going to do here and the final output i will get from this line so i will write here console dot write i will not use right line because i don't want to jump to the next line here so i will use str of so this is the str string so i will use the this call variable okay so i call so first time it will work like that so now after that what i want to do here i want to jump to the next line for that so i will say console dot right line okay so now my program is done after that what i want console dot read line to show you the output it is very simple program first understand this so I will use here row is equal to zero. So it will start from zero to till the str string of length. Okay. So it will first time it will print here. It will come here and it will check the call is equal to zero. Okay. Condition is true because it is the less than uh, equal to row. Okay. So condition will be satisfied here. So first what I want to do here, I want to print the call. Column uh, column value is zero. So I will say I will show you here. Then in the first time i will use here the zero position is i okay zero position is i so like that it will work to the row row suppose row value will be the nine because string length is nine like that so it will work like that okay so the next time it will be the uh, n okay so based on that it will work okay so now i am going to run this program first compile build this program and I will show you the output, how my output will display to you. So I need to print, I need to provide one input to the user. So I will use like, say, interview. Like that, we can see the output as expected. Okay, guys, you can see output is expected. If I will use 
another string then also we will get the output so it is the dynamic program guys every time you use dynamic program so it will give you the more impact to the interviewer okay so i will say here point you can see p o i n t so we will get we are getting the same output as expected okay so like that you can create logic so to create any logic first understand the program and you will create the logic and that logic will be work so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this video we'll see you in the next video guys if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel for more videos you can follow me on my facebook page this is the blog url so i will provide you both of the link in the description of this video thank you guys